Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I thought it'd be really fun to wrap my Christmas presents for my girls with you guys. I've done this, I think, last Christmas, and I did it for their birthday, I think maybe one year. So if you want to join me, grab some gifts that you need to wrap, some wrapping paper, tape, and scissors, and let's wrap Christmas presents together. So what I usually do is, in a situation like this where I've got all of someone's gifts, in this case the girls, my daughters, um, I go ahead and just get everything out at once and wrap it all at the same time. And I usually wrap one person's start to finish and then go and do the next person's start to finish. So I believe these, I'm wrapping my youngest daughters first. I just go ahead and wrap everything and then I go on and put on the bows and the tags and everything like that. For the stocking stuffers, I do wrap them, but I don't put bows or anything fancy on them. I don't even put their names on them because they each have a stocking that looks different and they know which one is theirs. So there's not really any issue of them getting them mixed up or anything like that. So that's really how I've managed to wrap gifts. And then as, the, as I go through the holiday season and I get other people's gifts, I do try to get a bunch of things together at once to wrap all at the same time because I don't want to have to get my wrapping paper and everything out and make a huge mess. For one present at a time so I really try to do a lot of kind of batch wrapping where I'm wrapping a bunch of presents at once. So I'm starting to wrap some stocking stuffers and I just have to let you guys know kind of how we do that. Uh, if you watch my gift guide videos this year then you would know that each girl got 15 things in their stocking and what we've done the last few years is actually let them open up a few stocking stuffers early or sometimes all of them. We will a couple weeks leading up to Christmas open one or two a week and I feel like that really helps to build anticipation. The girls really like it and I think it keeps the stocking stuffers from getting lost in the shuffle that may happen if they were to open them on Christmas. On Christmas they're opening so many gifts and bigger things and so I think sometimes, sometimes stockings tend to get a little bit overlooked. So we've actually really been enjoying that and even if that means they have no stocking stuffers to open on Christmas, they really don't mind and I really don't mind because I'm just as excited about them opening the things that we've gotten them as they are about receiving them, which I think is the way that it should be. So for us, opening stocking stuffers a little bit early or getting them all open before Christmas really isn't a problem, but it's become part of our family tradition.
And if you see that black bin sitting there with a gift in it, that is actually one of the storage totes that I keep in my closet. I have eight of them and they stay at the very top shelf of my closet. It's where I keep all the gifts that I've gotten people for Christmas or birthdays or things that I purchase for the girls all year long for their Easter baskets or for the homeschool reward store. Any gift that I have gotten for anybody, I keep in those eight bins in my closet. If you wanna see kind of how I organize that and how we handle gifts in our house as far as how much we spend on Christmas and where I keep the gifts and where I like to shop and all that good stuff, Definitely check out my How I Handle Christmas video. I even talk about how I handle companies that want to send me products for free for my gift guide videos or anything else. I do have kind of have I do kind of have sort of specific rules that I go by when choosing to work with different companies and accepting free products. So if you want to see that video and you want to see how I store gifts all year long, then definitely check out that video. I will link it for you guys in the description box. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed wrapping gifts with me and hearing a little bit more about how we handle Christmas presents and stocking stuffers. Make sure you check out my gift guide videos that I already put up this year if you need gift ideas for the kids in your life. There are over 70 gift ideas in those videos, so I really think it'll be helpful. I'll link them for you in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.